So, finally, at the fifth race of the day, we get to a chase, but who on earth is Mick the Tent? And why has he got a name raced after him? A name raced after him, a race named after him, even. <laughs> Two miles and five furlongs, 0 to 120, the Mick the Tent handicap chase. Jay's dual stall at the top for James Shea, Ice Gem for Craig Beckwith, St. Jude for Paul Rhodes, Rabawa for Graham Clutterbuck, Barolo Viking for Martin Lederman, Thomas Rogers has got the bottom two, Jovial Apparent, and Vimiero Domini. Called in then. And away they go. In the first chase of the day and the smallest field of the day as well. And I think this is probably the first handicap of the day as well. But it's Barolo Viking on the outside of Ice Gem with Rabalma third. And then 40 Shades of Green follow as the four green clad horses are after that one. So they get to the first of the 13. And Bit of a mistake at the back by Vimiero Domini, but Barolo Viking has gone on into a lead of a couple of lengths. Likes to bowl along in front of that one, but also likes to get rid of the jockey now and again. St. Jude has moved through into second as they get to this ditch. And Barolo Viking attacked that ditch and jumped it really well. Vimiero Domini appears to be struggling somewhat at the back, and he's already five lengths of drift off the rest of them. But Barolo Viking must be setting a stiffish sort of pace for a Balmer and St. Jude sharing second with Ice Gem on their inside, just in behind them, Jay's Doll Stool, and then the Thomas Rogers pair, Jovial Apparent, and a gap to stablemate Vimiero Domini, so they come up and pass the stand and take the fence, that'll be the last on the next circuit, and they will do shortly anyway, and there they go, and they all get over that one nicely. Racing downhill, and Barolo Vikings, they get straightened back up again there, past the stand. And Barolo Viking passes the winning post with a circuit to go four lengths clear of Rabama in second. Jay's Dog Stall has now moved through into third. St. Jude is fourth. Then that Jovial Apparent, nice gem, and then Vimiero Domini is now getting a bit closer, but they're quite well strung out, which makes you think they are going pretty quick. And Barolo Viking is the one that's setting that pace and leads by a good four lengths to Jay's Dog Stall and Rabama. In St. Jude has been niggled along in fourth. And Jovial Apparent, Ice Gem and Vimiero Domini. So at the fifth. And Barolo Viking stood off that one but got over it. Okay. Balma now a clear second. Jay's Doll Stall and St. Jude going up on that one's outside. Coming down towards the next end. And Barolo Viking slowed up, slowed up going into that one. Leads down to about four. Jay's Doll Stall is now taking a turn in second. Rabalma's third. St. Judy's fourth. Then Jovial Apparent Ice Gem and Vimiero Domines. They get over that ditch and they're all jumping well. And Jay's Doll Stall is the one that looks like he's going to be the first one to try and challenge Barolo Viking, who is the long time leader. And they've still got well over a mile to go. And Barolo Viking. Holding along in the lead from Jay Stoll Stall second, St. Jude third, and Rabawa four. Then Ice Jim, Jovial Apparent, and Vimiero Domini. You couldn't rule anything out there. It's Barolo Vikings customary mistake. And that means the lead is down to a little more than a length now. Jay Stoll Stall and St. Jude caught round the outside. Rabalma and Ice Jim, and it's a pack of five now and as they take this next one Barolo Viking just about hanging on in front Jay's Doll Stall the one that made the mistake that time but St. Jude may have just poked his nose in front and Rabalma is now coming through to take a look at second as they take the tenth and that was the fourth from home they've only got three more to take then and St. Jude has kicked on from Barolo Viking who's still there in second then Ice Jim is third Rabalma is fourth Jovial Apparent Jay's Doll Stall Vimiero Domini you couldn't rule anything out yet but it's St. Jude who's got first run at the moment, Barolo Viking now switching round the outside, Ice Gem coming round the outside of that one, Rabalma being pushed along then, comes Jovian apparently racing down towards the third from home then, and over it they go, and St. Jude landed in the, in the lead from Barolo Viking, Baralma, then comes Ice Gem, Jay's Doll Stall, Jovian apparent, and then Vimiero Domini, nothing is out of this yet, Barolo Viking gets back into the lead, as they come down the second last, that's the final ditch, Barolo Viking landed in front, St. Jude is in second, here comes Vimiero Domini, 
Harmony who's been sat quietly at the back all the way through the race as they swing towards home in the final fence and it's Barolo Vikings, St Jude and Viero Domini, these three are clear of Ice Gem and Rabalma St Jude and Viero Domini, Barolo Viking looks beaten now in third as they come down towards this final flight, final fence sorry, it's St Jude in the lead, St Jude and Vimiero Domini, coming down to it now then, bobbing heads as they come towards this final fence, Vimiero Domini lands in the lead but didn't jump in all that well, St Jude jumped it better and he's fighting back on the inside St Jude gets back into the lead again Vimiero Domini's trying to battle Barolo Vikings running on again, so too is Jay's no spoon, but it's St Jude inside the final half well, on St Jude is hanging on and St Jude is going to take it from a fast finish in Jay's Dole Stall and Rabama and Viniero Domini and Jovial and Parrot and then all the way back to Ice Gem a really exciting race that turned out to be which you wouldn't have guessed halfway round when they were strung out like old Mother Riley's washing but St Jude took it looked like Viniero Domini was going to have a tactical race of all time. Barolo Viking came back into it and ended up out of the money. So, pretty good race there. So, whoever the tent is, he had a good race. And St. Jude is the winner for Paul Rose. Jay's Doll Stall for James Shea was second. Vimiero Domini, Thomas Rogers third. Rabalma for Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers again was fifth.